Hey guys, welcome. Now, we are prepping for the 8-8 portal. The new moon in Leo. So manifesting from the Capricorn, second Capricorn full moon we just had to the new moon in Leo. Let's see what's happening, what the messages are. All right. It's definitely a time it's again a new year right this is a this is a cosmic new year let's turn this down let's chill in. all right okay so we're going to one of my favorite decks right it says the particles of stardust from which our soul is woven. The numinous is the unknowable essence of our being. So, the unknown, right? God. Okay. Okay. We have Uranus revolution. With square challenge for being challenged. With semi sextile allowing. So when we work with Uranus, we're having a breakthrough. This is brainstorming, originality, insight, awakening, technology, innovation, humanitarianism, reform, surprise, freedom, experimentation, the unexpected, rapture, edge, diversity, and lightning. So something come in, this is tower energy for our greatest good. And it's connected to our great genius, but it's it's also connected to our, our madness. Remember, everything is connected to the center point. And you can only go mad before you unlock your great genius. And you can only go so far into genius until you go mad again. So... We're being challenged, creates tension, stalls, surrounds the alarm, motivates, pressures into, frustrates, demands, struggles, reorients, hurts, works out. But then there's reconcile, reconciliation. So again, to very much tower energy, we have things being cleared up for our greatest good. The divine comes up all in here. This is connected to a struggle. This is like, this is like eye of the storm energy where you become the eye in your own shit storm. Literally. The eye in your own shit storm. I feel like there's so many meanings to this right now. Encourages, okay, semi-sextile. This is, this is what's happening. We're allowing, encourages, sees the potential and clarifies, gives hope to, compensates, intuits tempers responds cycles grows realizes rewards this is the growth this is the revolution through the challenge this is the motivation this is what ends up happening there's growth achieved like a plant like a plant we're even gonna we're gonna just look at this a little bit further because there's a little bit more information in here that we just want to get to. Okay. So these are planets at a close degree within seven to eight degrees, an orb of seven to eight degrees, okay? Ooh, I like it already. Semi sextiles stand shoulder to shoulder, feeling the subtlest skin to skin vibrations between them. Planets in this relationship each have something to the something the other wants and needs speaking in whispers and gently goading each other to action you can do it urge the semi sextiles and i promise to catch you in the trust fall these aspects sweetly urge us towards our precious potential with equal parts tough and tender love describing planets in signs that six sit next door to each other on the zodiac wheel as per example, Libra and Scorpio, 
these energies support each other in the evolutionary growth process by adding their particular flavor of sugar or spice where they're needed most. They are the cusp signs that pull us across borders and into our next and necessary stage of human development. Your semi-sextiles bless your true colors, asking you to apply them to the canvas with cultivated care, urging you to relax muscles made tense by hard wrought self-expression and to quietly step into the shifting, the shifting spotlight. You have everything to give and nothing to prove. Well, heck to the yes. This is where we're at. <sighs> and just like, what a breath of fresh air. But like, this is, this breath is relieving all this tension. And then you feel the alignment. You feel from what's out of alignment to what's in alignment. It's like that. So there's no need for radical action right now, but how you could turn the volume knobs ever so slightly on a situation and travel toward your growing edge, that slightly uncomfy territory that is nonetheless curiously, curiously compelling. Get curious about all the levels of singular emotion like love over anger and check in where you are right now. And I... I was listening to information today it was about healing childhood trauma and how our attachment styles, like how we give up our authenticity to attach through love, which is codependency. And we have had to be codependent throughout our relationships in our time. That's just truth. And with our parents, with other loved ones, we understand our attachment styles. We can, we can, and I love these videos. There's a lot of good videos coming out on YouTube. Actually, there's someone that he has really good attachment, attachment videos. Study anxious attachment, study uh, anxious attachment. There's different attachment styles. Um, and then too, when we can study the hormones, like what's released when we bond. You know, women are more, more oxytocin based, which is like lovey and touchy and have receptors for this and have, you know, it goes deep. How many receptors do we have? Because that goes back to our childhood. And then, you know, understanding men are more vessel pressing, you know, have more vessel pressing receptors and bond that way. And if they haven't had a lot of like nurture, like holding in their childhood, they may have less oxytocin receptors. And what can we do? What can we do to understand this rather than you know, be on the surface level, making all these videos that are then like the new program saying, just dump everybody or get rid of everyone because everyone has a red flag and just on to the next and on to the next and everyone's just expendable. It's like we have to, we have to go beyond the surface a little bit and understand that every relationship, it's, it still has its uniqueness. And I love it because Teal Swan is talking a lot about this right now of how we're really going to begin to authenticate our relationships through our authenticity because this is where we're going, where what worked before is not working now. And to really look at what we're doing and don't always necessarily get bought in the program, watching all these reels on Facebook, watching all these, you know, reels on Insta and all this stuff and get, be careful. You have TikTok, like be careful. And I know, I mean, I'm talking to you from here too, but we have to be careful what we're, is the new program? Are we running the program or are we running our authenticity? So even to, you know, if somebody talks to you like they're an oracle and you just wanted a straight up answer for them from them, they could be very well talking to you like they're an oracle because they want you to see the answer within you because it's just a different space. Okay, that was deep. So... We're going to chip away the old story that we've inherited or listening to in a new friend's perspective on your same old problem. Get curious about the levels of singular emotion. I'll come full circle. So look, we have to get curious about our trauma. Let's get curious about it. Coming back to where that all came from. Okay. Get curious, right? 
check in where you are right now. Embrace the notion that there are multiple ways to be and that growing and shifting are not nothing. Now or never propositions. Take your time and blend innovation with your characteristic spark. See, that, that you can't get any more authentic than that. Okay, we're going to get some tarot. Get some tarot. We're going to go to the sun and moon tarot. Okay. And let's see. Let's get some more info. So Saturn is here on the bottom of the, this deck. And it's working with our wisdom. Discipline, structure, time, responsibility, tests, ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practicality, self-control, tradition, realism, container, bones, maturity, gravity, and scaffolding. And there we can tie it all up in a little pretty bow as to what we're all doing here. Okay. The Prince of Pentacles. So here we're moving forward with uh, our connection from that Capricorn full moon now into our Leo new moon. This is slow and steady. Yeah, because the tower came on and knocked us uh, and now we're going slow and steady. And look, there's the Queen of Pentacles. There's still a connection to looking back in the past. That's the challenge. Look, the challenge is connected to looking back in the past. Getting stuck in nostalgia lane. Getting stuck in the memories. There's a release here. But... In the release is honored in the it's in the time to take it the time that it takes to slow down and honor this and release it as part of the past in order for growth for what's allowing next. And let's see what's going next. Well, we have an interference from the sky, and yeah, that's connected to Uranus, our revolution. So we had an interference. We have an interference. This is, has to do with this new beginning. Let's connect it to our cosmic new year. Okay. So there's an eight of cups. This is where we walk away. The past is let go here. It works out. It works out. This is going towards those two cups. So the Prince of Swords. Now we're going in a new direction. You, me, all of us joining in here. We're all one. Okay. We're doing this together. We're going in a new direction in order to transition with judgment. That with the new beginning within the cosmos. But it's connected to a truth that that's connected to this cosmic new year. And it's an ending. Look, an ending is a victory to a new beginning with understanding action. And with understanding action on how to heal. And there's the magician. Now this, this new beginning within the heavens, of course, is connected to what's within this is our light codes this is the activation of our light codes within this is the activation of our authenticity and something shifts let's see
Let's see what's activated. Something good comes of this. And there's an activation. So, let's see what that is connected to as well. And this is our light codes with our connection to God, the divine. We stand with the light here, from within to without, literally. Okay, let's see what's being activated. Mm. Guys, I gotta slow down. Okay. Well, look at that. It's a truth. The throat chakra is here. The frequency of the throat, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. And the next card out, underneath, when we spin the wheel here, it's the peace. And then we have the Princess of Swords. So we have the Prince and Princess of Swords. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine with the energy of youth present, the inner child, creating peace. With the activation of Merkaba. The frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. And that's what we're doing. We're putting the pieces together with the page of Vera there. This is what's good is coming of this. Let's, let's share the message. Page of air, new ideas, a theory not yet proven, curiosity, <laughs> curiosity, new focus. There it is. It's curiosity, a new focus. This calls for greater investigation as we've only scratched the surface. I don't really know. That's interesting. If I explore this way of thinking, what can I learn? Okay, we have something to learn. And we've got a connection to the nine of earth here and the hangman. And we're going to expand off this next time we meet up. Until then, I am sending it to you those good, good healing vibes. I love you. Take care.